All of our classes incorporate both exercise and education because we're giving the body and the brain a workout. Movement and learning are crucial to optimal brain function and brain growth. Yes, you can grow your brain. If you want to achieve any goal in life, if you want to bring about change, if you want to deal with unhelpful thinking patterns and unhelpful behaviours, you have to get your brain on board. It's at the centre of your health and well-being because it controls absolutely everything you think, feel and do. If we look at the nervous system, we see that the brain is part of the central nervous system with the spine. And we also have, as part of the nervous system, all the nerves in the body that send information to and from the brain. We've come across the autonomic nervous system because of the fight or flight response. But here we have the somatic nervous system, which involves sensory nerves that bring data from the body to the brain. And then motor nerves that take messages from the brain to the body to direct muscle movement. So nerves are made up of individual cells called neurons. Let's have a look at a simplified version of a neuron. This is the cell body called the soma and that's the site of neurotransmitter production as in your brain chemicals serotonin and dopamine which are involved in transmitting messages between nerves, nerve cells I should say. We have dendrites which receive the information and we have axons so this cell has an axon here, this cell has an axon here, which transmit the information. When we learn things, the messages travel from one neuron to another down the axon. And they travel over and over. And eventually the brain starts to create connections or pathways between the neurons so that the things that you are learning become easier and you can do them better and better. So if you're thinking in terms of movement, you might start off being a little bit awkward, hula hooping or practicing yoga postures. But as the circuits become a little bit more entrained, then movement will become much more precise. Now, the thing about brain cells, neurons cannot divide and regenerate like other cells. So they can change in terms of their behaviour, but they can't regenerate. However, new neurons can grow. They're born as blank stem cells in a part of the brain called the hippocampus. But the stem cell has to go through a development process to become a functioning neuron that is part of this network. And how does that happen? Well, you have to give the new stem cell something to do in order for it to survive. So if you don't use it, you lose it. And for it to actually become part of this system, it has to fire its axon. So you've got to give it some new learning for it to fire its axon and become part of the whole network. So ageing and degenerative diseases are all a matter of cells becoming damaged and dying. But the brain has a built-in countermeasure. Neurogenesis, the growth of new brain cells. But our job is to actually give them a mission so that they do become part of a functioning network. I'll say a little bit more about this in the written post.